learn about environment movement today. That is in continuation with all your other social movements. What is environment? All the physical surroundings on earth are called the environment. The environment includes everything, living and non-living. People, animal, plants, living things rely on the non-living things of the environment for their survival. Man is selfish by nature. Man wants to grab more and more, not only for his need but for his greed. And by doing this, man or humans are exploiting the natural resources and this has led to the environment degradation and this has again led to the environment movement. There is a close relation between mankind and environment since a long time. As humans are a part of environment, they need to keep it clean and safe. All their surroundings, maybe water, soil, anything for that matter, has to be kept clean. Only then the humans are safe. It becomes inevitable to lead a healthy life without such an environment. When your environment is clean, all people are healthy. And that is why we need a clean environment for a healthy life. Humans are part of the environment they live in. It, they live in it, from it and with it. Humans are part of environment. They need to keep it clean, safe as it is not possible to lead a healthy life without such an environment. We can see in the pictures all that is so peaceful and natural. So this is our natural environment. But humans are exploiting the resources of nature according to their whims and fancies and environment degradation is taking place cutting off trees, forest fire, smoke from the factories are all exploiting the resources of our nature. Any unnatural and negative changes in all the dimensions like chemical, physical and biological characteristics of any component of the ecosystem, for example, air, water or soil which causes harmful effect on various forms of life. Environment is the sum total of all biotic and abiotic factors and conditions that surround and potentially influence organisms without becoming their consistent part. Biotic meaning living things, abiotic meaning non-living things. Now let us look at what are the living things. Plants, protists, fungus, bacteria and animals. What are the abiotic or the non-living things? Water, light, minerals, air, soil. Environment includes climate, atmosphere, air, water, light, temperature, fire and soil. When these get degraded, environmental movements start. The incessant exploitation of natural resources and biodiversity has led to environment movement. Biodiversity meaning the number of variety of plants, animals and other organisms that exist in an ecosystem 
is known as biodiversity. Biodiversity is the result of 3.5 billion years of evolution. Natural resources is what we get from earth naturally. Example, minerals, coal, etc. Causes for environment movement. We have a few causes which has led towards the environment movement. One of them is to protect the environmental degradation. Second is to protect diversity. Then effects of pollution. Let us come to protect the environmental degradation. As we can see in the picture, lots of greenery, lots of fertile soil, but this fertile soil has been used for various other reasons where factories are built and the fertile soil is lost. In the name of urbanization, tall buildings are constructed and fertile soil is lost, that is leading towards environmental degradation. In the name of development, the government of India has taken measures by industrial and technological development. This led to industrialization and urbanization and their adverse effects. And this shows on the fertility of the soil. Urbanization refers to population shift from rural to urban areas. The decrease in the people living in the rural areas. This will lead to problems in cities like poor air quality, insufficient water availability, waste disposal problems, loss of cultivable land and high energy consumption. Second one, to protect biodiversity. Deforestation for fuel and construction. The cutting of trees for fuel use, construction purposes, has left the wildlife and the birds to become orphans. This is permanent destruction of forests. Hence, many movements started. Chipko. Apiko, meaning hug the trees, save the Western Guards movements, also started to stop deforestation. Environment education and consciousness, meaning environmental education is relatively new. It is an interdisciplinary process that aims at equipping people with the knowledge, attitude, skills and motivation that they need to help resolve environmental issues. We can see in the picture people taking rallies in their cycles to create, among, to create awareness amongst the people. People are living amidst environment. Hence, the schools, colleges and non-governmental organizations are creating awareness and consciousness among human beings. Many programs like jatas and rallies are being conducted. To curb environment decay is another cause. Man's greediness has led them to excavate and exploit the resources, resulting in soil erosion, drying up of rivers and reservoirs, air pollution, water pollution and sound pollution. As you can see in the picture, the different 
effects of pollution or exploitation of the natural resources. Effects of air pollution. High level of air pollution can cause an increased risk of heart attack, wheezing, asthma, coughing and breathing problems and irritation of the eyes, nose and the throat. Soil contamination or soil pollution is a part of land degradation. It is caused by alteration in the natural soil, environment like industrial activity, agricultural chemicals, and improper disposal of waste. This affects the health of humans, plants, and animals. Plants grown on such contaminated soil will decrease the agricultural output of a land. When animals or human beings consume these crops, the toxic material can pass to the body. Water contamination. Toxic substances enter the water bodies like rivers, lakes, oceans, and get dissolved in them. This degrades the quality of water. Sewage water, that is waste water, or river dumping, dumping all your waste, plastics, etc., into the rivers, plastic bottles, plastic covers, etc., oil pollution, etc., leads to the spread of diseases like cholera, typhoid. There is lack of potable water or drinking water and this affects the infant mortality, that is the lifespan of the children reduces. Noise pollution is a type of energy pollution in which distracting, irritating, or damaging sounds are freely audible. Regular exposure to high sound levels leading to adverse effects on human beings. Maybe there are workplace sounds, factory sounds, fans, generators, there are huge big generators, big fans. Constant loud music, the sound of fireworks also. This leads to noise induced hearing loss, blood pressure, sleep disturbances and stress. All these causes like soil erosion, drying up of rivers, pollution of air, water, sound, deforestation of fuel, industrialization and urbanization have put pressure on the people as they are facing many problems due to this and this led them to start the environment movement which means to say all these causes have pressurized the people because they are unhappy to take measures and this led to the environment movement. Thank you dear students.